little melancholy, a little nostalgic. I mean, you're in the middle of uh, Deathly Hallows, parts one and two right now. The finish mm -hmm. line is literally in sight the next few months. Yeah. So, you know, what aren't you going to miss is what I'm curious about. There's plenty, I'm sure, of the relationships, seeing everybody on set every day. But, like, is there anything that you're not going to miss from this experience? Gosh, what am I not going to miss? The early starts. <laughs> the early starts. I am not a morning person. And uh, getting out of bed to go to the film studio sometimes, I'm just like, oh, I can't move. I can't get out of bed. Um, so probably that. What about being under the microscope? I mean, nobody is more like closely watched, I feel like, than you guys, the three of you in particular. Yeah, I, I probably will not miss <laughs> that side of things as well. Um, you know... I mean, do you find yourself having to change your behavior in the last couple of years because people, there's always a camera around, there's always someone watching, there's always someone with a pen and paper, like... Yeah, I mean, the thing about me is that um, I'm basically in denial that I'm famous. I really like try it. I kind of, I'm very... You're really famous. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> like Thanks for letting me know. Um, <laughs> I am, I know. And I just, I kind of, I want to I wanna live like a totally normal person. And sometimes you just can't, you know. And Harry Potter is like, it was officially last year made officially the most successful film franchise of all time. And one gajillion dollars, I think is the official Yeah, total, number, right? yeah. <laughs> one gajillion, gabillion, gazillion dollars worth well, of film franchise. So it's to be expected. You know, it's, it's part of the deal.